In today's video, you're going to learn a photo tip which will completely transform your photography for the better. Hey guys, my name's Ben from Ben's Guide and welcome to the video today. That is my phone vibrating, sorry about that. Now this is a video for the very first time where I'm gonna do this in one take. This could be disastrous. Essentially, it's a bit like a live video, uh, but anything could go wrong. And uh, yeah, we'll see. But if anything does go wrong, please cut me some slack. Don't roast me in the comments below. I'm pretty sure it will all be okay and we'll all have a good time in the end. Now, this photo tip, if you're a beginner, is going to absolutely transform your photography. Even if you're an intermediate photographer or you're a pro photographer, so this is like your career or something, then there's a chance you probably know this already, but I bet you don't use it as much as you should do. And here's the proof why you should be using it, or you should be using it a lot more. So here is my Instagram account, okay? And I'm just gonna show you some photos which have this photo tip applied and other photos which don't have it applied. And you will be able to see the difference. So this is the first image we're gonna take a look at here. And this is a beautiful scene. It was taken in Wales and I love this photo. It got 246 likes. Now bearing in mind guys, I'm not a massive Instagrammer. This is something where I just trickle through photos a little bit here and there. Um, but hey, still go ahead and follow me on the Instagrams because maybe I'll add more photos. But this photo here got 246 likes. It did pretty well. If we have a look at the next photo, this got 189 likes. This also doesn't have the photo tip applied. This one got 200 likes, pretty decent. Once again, doesn't have the photo tip applied. This photo on the other hand does have this tip applied. It's got 360 likes and more engagement. So does this, 340 likes and more engagement, 418 likes, and once again, this has this tip applied. Finally, this photo here, 478 likes, quite a few comments, and this definitely does have this tip applied. Now this is some proof right here that using this tip, you can drive a lot more engagement to your social media photos and posts. And that is big in times like these when kids are using digital phones. I mean, we use phones as well, but they're using phones and they're scrolling at like 10 million miles an hour. And I don't even know how they see stuff most of the time, but they scroll so quick that you don't really get your photo out to as many people as you'd like to. And a lot of times, guys, you know, you're creating great photos. So you spend time doing this, you want people to see it. Now, what this tip does is it actually engages the viewer a lot more as you've just seen. So what is the tip? Well, I'm gonna share that with you in a minute, but I'd love you guys to guess. But I know that you'll cheat and I know that you'll just watch the video for about another 30 seconds to a minute. You'll find out what the tip is. You'll put it below and say, hey, Ben, look, this is what it is. I guessed. And I'll be like, no, you didn't. So the tip is a leading line. Now, some of you may already know this, but I bet you don't use it as much as you should do. And you see the scientific proof, which now tells us that this keeps people more engaged for longer. And the whole reason behind this is because essentially you're creating a 3D image almost out of a 2D image. In a leading line, you have a start to the line and an end, and you draw the viewer's eye into your photo. So basically, the viewer's eye travels through the photograph, and then it is drawn into engagement with this photograph. Now, this is big because of what I've just explained. Because of people these days don't have time for anything, everything is so quickly paced. So any little kind of extra that you can get with your photos, is going to help with your engagement. Another great thing about this tip is that it works so well on nearly all styles of photography, actually. 
if you're a portrait photographer, is brilliant for drawing the viewer's eye into your subject. And that's really attractive when you're taking portrait photos. Also, if you're a landscape photographer, probably my very favorite way of using the leading line, you only have to look around you in nature and you can see how many natural leading lines there are. And it really is a beautiful way to shoot landscape photos. And if you look at my work on Instagram, go follow me if you like, then you'll be able to see that a lot of my photos are actually shot this way. And it's something that I really believe in and I think works really well for me. Probably the last way that I would say works really well with this technique is definitely street photography. Look around you when you're in a big city and you will see that a lot of the buildings are square, rectangle shapes, geometric shapes, and they naturally create these leading lines. So it's a brilliant technique to use if you're a street photographer to add that extra something something. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and I hope it wasn't a complete and utter train wreck as this was one take. But you know guys, if I can impart anything on you, I hope that you go out and you try this more. If you are a beginner or you know, someone that's just starting out. Of course, if you're someone that's already knows about this and you use it lots, then I really just appreciate you spending your time watching this video. It means a lot. And I just hope you got something valuable from it. Anyway, guys, please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Give the video a thumbs up or even a comment would mean the world to me. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.